So episode five and we're onto the deck beams. I'm going to jump right in with the process of stalling the deck beams. It starts with marking up the shear clamp with the original deck beam spacings. Then using a very innovative little spirit level, I transcribe each corner reference point back onto the deck beam itself. You will note the new deck beams are again laminated Kari, which makes for much stronger deck beams, but of course a lot more work than cutting out a solid timber. It's also a better use of timber. There's a lot of waste in cutting curves out of straight timber. While I had a pretty good idea of how to carry out this stage of the build, I did ask Simon if he would give me some pointers to reduce my novice mistakes. You have to remember that at almost every stage of this build, this is the first time for me. As to the deck beam dimensions, we pretty much followed the original, with the heaviest beams being at the mast and at the front and back of the cockpit and cabin. The beams get smaller in dimension towards the bow and the stern. Apologies, but I've no video of the laminating process, but it was a relatively simple task of laying up laminated strips against a set of blocks, which had been set out by the all important deck camber template. I finished marking up both ends of the deck beam before making any cuts. Then I checked all the dimensions and angles one more time. You may notice that this deck beam joint is notched with a stepped taper. The idea of this joint is to get good support but take as little meat out of the shear clamp timber as possible. then made a series of cuts into the clamp. And then it's time for the chisel. notice through much of this video that it's hard to get a sense of geography. Also many of the notations are back to front. This is because I keep using the screen lens on my iPhone. It allows me to see what I'm doing. But it's like watching everything in a mirror. tell you there's nothing more satisfying when the two pieces come together with just a firm tap and no gaps. So the one thing I haven't talked about are the carlins. These create the side decks of the cockpit and cabin and were laminated against the shear clamp to get the correct bend and twist. So, for the record, 
and again apologies for no video. But all the deck beams were West System epoxy fastened, no mechanical fastenings. I wonder what the Logan Brothers would have made of epoxy. So this completes the basic deck structure and for the record it's about 350 hours of labour. But it's a very rewarding sight. So I'm going to leave you with a few images of a grey haired old fart keeping busy on his favourite project in a beautiful location so I'm not complaining. I would be most interested in getting more feedback on both content and style. I would like to do better. In the next episode, we're going to cover ring frames, lodging knees, hanging knees. I also want to say thank you to all those of you supporting this channel. I just hit 1,000 subscribers, which gave me a bit of a thrill. But then I realized I was 561,000 short of Leo Gaudron and the Tally Ho project. I'm going to close each new episode with some pics of past projects. This one's Patsy, a Sydney Harbour prawn trawler, converted to a council work boat and then converted to a pleasure boat. Let me know if you'd like to know more about them. So fade to black. Where are the end credits? Where's the music? Oh my God.